Hey everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we are going to be talking about everything we know so far about the Toxic Avenger reboots. I'm very excited to get into this. This is like one of the weirdest movies to remake, especially like right now. I have no idea what a modern take of this movie is, but we're going to talk about that in just a second here. Now before I get into that, I'm going to need you all to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I post exclusive reviews of like a whole bunch of crazy horror movies that I'm a fan of and also my podcast. That is also exclusively there. You can check that out by clicking on the link in the description below. Alrighty, now let's get into it. What's your favorite scary movie? Well, I'm Pennywise. Can you see the cloud? Oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! Oh, you son of a... God, don't do that. Well, sometimes that is better. So currently, Legendary Entertainment is working on some kind of reboots of Troma's classic 1984 cult classic hits, The Toxic Avenger. Mason Blair, who you might know is starring in the movie Green Room, which is that crazy A24 movie about the neo-Nazis. It's not bad. It's not my favorite A24 horror film, but it's also not bad. It's pretty good. Check it out. He is set to write and direct this new take on that cult classic, so that's pretty interesting. I'm excited to see what he does with it. He wrote this film for Netflix called Hold the Dark, never heard of it, and then he wrote and directed this film film that has a crazy title called I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore, which sounds really intriguing. I'm actually curious to check that out. I gotta, I gotta put that on the watch list for some time. Deadline reports that none other than Frodo Baggins will be appearing in this movie, Elijah Wood. He was also in the remake of Maniac, and, he's, and more recently he was in that film called Come to Daddy, which was very, very weird. Julia Davis, Kevin Bacon, and Jacob Tremblay, all big names, are also a part of this cast. And then the film is starring Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones, as Melvin, who is the guy that becomes the Toxic Avenger. The new film is being described as a contemporary reimagining of Troma Entertainment's successful 1984 low-budget action comedy hit, The Toxic Avenger. It is steeped in environmental themes and subverts the superhero genre in the vein of Deadpool. When a struggling everyman is pushed into a vat of toxic waste, he is transformed into a mutant freak who must go from shunned outcast to underdog hero as he races to save his son, his friends, and his community from the forces of of corruption and greed. So pretty much the same concept as the original movie, but if it's anything like that first one, it has got this really weird mix of tone that they ho that I hope they kind of capture in this movie. I don't love it, but it's so weird you can't get it anywhere else. It's very, very dark comedy mixed with like a whole bunch of crazy gore and action. Hopefully this new film can capture that same like low budget cult feeling that is just like it's so bad it's good, it's got a whole bunch of disgusting gore. So at the beginning of that quote they kind of talk about that there might be an environment mental issue that this uh, new movie might deal with like that might be like kind of like a political undertone like maybe Peter Dinklage's character is fighting against like corporations that are trying to kill the environment or something might be an interesting new spin to put on this series I think that'd be kind of cool kind of sending a good message here I mean without a planet you know we can't really do anything like make more horror movies so it's I like it it's good stuff something else that's totally blowing my mind about the toxic Avenger is how much I never realized like how similar it was to Deadpool it sounds like they're trying to take that route with it, so if it like also is like maybe Peter Tinklage is like throwing out some quips every now and then to people, like just some really sarcastic shit like how Deadpool does, I'm all about that, man. What, like a more horror version of Deadpool? Like, yeah, okay, I'm all about that. I know it's not a horror movie, but I think Deadpool might be my favorite film ever made. I it's it's hard to say otherwise, man. I mean it's just such a good it's such a good movie. It's such a great blend of like everything. So if this movie is anything like that, I know I'm going to love it. I'm super excited to see this movie because I just want to know what a modern take on the Toxic Avenger would look like. I'm very excited to see how they take those like low budget and like grimy aspects of that original movie and like make it modern. I have no idea how they're going to do that, but I'm very excited to see it. What do you guys think about the new Toxic Avenger movie? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching my new video on the Toxic Avenger remake. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Just look up Killjoy Jake and I'll come up. Check out my second channel, Movie Smoothie. I'm currently reviewing all the new episodes of Rick and Morty over there, so make sure to check that out and subscribe. Also, please check out my Patreon, where I'll post extra videos there and also my podcast, which is exclusive to that platform. You can check that out by clicking on the link in the description below. Thank you all again for watching, and as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.